Let me first of all ask you, though, um, I was at a press conference the other day which had 150 journalists at it, which was for you, and I doubt if Henry Kissinger would have got, or any head of state would have got more journalists there. Um, but somebody asked a question of you there about what it was like to be a Hollywood legend, mm -hmm. and you denied that you were. Well, you see, unless I am performing, I don't really think of myself very often in the professional, um, professional part of my life. I, I, I really don't, and uh, so therefore I don't, there's no way you could think of yourself as a legend, and uh, I can't help but be complimented. Hmm. You, 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 mu you must not ignore this and say, well, it's just nothing. But I don't think of it. I don't think of myself that way. You don't? At all, no. Hmm. I was born and brought up as a Yankee in New England, and, and um, so there was no, n no way I could think of myself this way. But, I mean, I mean, you accept, if you look back on the history of Hollywood, there being what? I suppose three great women stars, haven't there? There's Garbo, Hepburn, yourself. Would you, would you agree with that running order? Well, I, I would accept the running order, yes. <laughs> of course, I'd be happier if I got first billing, but I'll just... <laughs> I was putting them in, in historical no, perspective. No, no, if I am included with those two fabulous women, I am delighted. Yes. What kind of, what's the most, uh, what's the question you get asked most of all by these people? Because you've done this all over America, haven't you, and all over Oh, I was in Australia and New Zealand all the first part of this year, which was a fabulous, a fabulous trip, and, and I found a fabulous country, mm. you know. Well, they, they're very, very varied. There is one question I am always asked, did I name the Oscar? And fascinatingly enough, the only night I was not asked this question was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the night of the Oscar show, which I thought was very, very strange. Because I'm always asked that. I was asked that uh, everywhere in Australia and New Zealand. What's the answer? Uh, well, I feel I did. How? The, well, uh, my first husband's middle initial was O, and he never would tell me what it was because he detested the name so. And finally I found out that the, uh, his middle name was Oscar. And uh, the rear end of the Oscar looked like him. <laughs> <laughs> rear end. And I always called it Oscar. Now, I, the Academy uh, refuses to accept this, and I sort of willingly say the Academy. I see. But that's my memory of it. Of course, it was a long time ago. Yes, that's the kind of a lasting monument, isn't it, if that's, if that's true? Yeah. Yes, yes, he has a lasting monument, yeah. that's right. When you, were, when you first went there, you said you were a puzzlement to all these people, and indeed you must have been. Did they um, ever try to tart you up, glamorize you? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, in a film called Fashions of 1934. Yes, they made me up as nearly as possible to look like Miss Garbo which, of course, is utterly impossible. They gave me the lovely long bob and the nice, beautiful, wide mouth and the long, long lashes. Uh, it, it, was, it was really sickening because it wasn't my type. And thank God I had brains enough to know that, you know, and I never let them do that again. Yes. How do you mean you never let them do that again? Because you... you, you, you I just didn't. I just said you cannot either fire me or let me be what I personally am. You yes. cannot... You cannot be somebody else, but or as a, a copy, or anything else. But as a contract artist, of course, I would imagine that, that took a certain amount of guts, didn't it? Well, yes. Yes, I was a meddler for my own good, but it becomes, it becomes self-preservation, really, if it, if it had continued that way. And they did that with so very many th theatre people they brought out. You know, changed all their teeth, changed their noses, changed everything. And, and those who had any individuality uh, just never made it because they just looked phony. There's another um, marvelous uh, quote of yours that I read uh, where you said once on an American television show that the best thing you ever went to bed with was a good book. Um, <laughs> no, I never said that. My well, husband got a divorce because he said I read in bed. I have never in my life made a statement like that because I don't feel that way. <laughs> I was only going to ask you what the book was, that's all, but... Um... <laughs> uh, well, mm. 
No, never, never, never. Oh, good heavens. That makes me sound so dull, doesn't it?